Now it's time to form our meringues and get them in the oven. I've set my oven for 300 degrees and my mise en place here for forming. I've got my meringue ready to go. I've got two large spoons. You can use you know, two serving spoons, the largest spoons you have in your house and a sheet tray that's been lined. I have a sill pat here that I'm using, uh, but if you don't have a sill pat, you can use um, parchment or aluminum foil. I've had problems with um, meringues sticking in both instances. Occasionally I'll have success with parchment, um, but use what you have. This is not a beautiful dish by any means. It's called eaten mess for a reason. Um, so at this point in the curriculum, don't be too concerned about it being gorgeous. Um, so we're going to make what are called quenelles or canelles, and they're these little uh, three-sided footballs that we shape the meringue into uh, using spoons. So just get a, a heaping spoonful of your meringue, and I'm going to shape and sculpt it into a little football using gravity to kind of fall onto the next spoon, and then I'm just going to transfer it to my sheet tray and go again you can see that again using gravity until I've got a fairly uh, consistent size and shape uh, with my others because we want these to bake evenly so having consistent size and shape from quenelle to quenelle uh, will be important Okay, and after I get these all uh, formed, I'm going to pop it into my oven at 300 degrees.